Welcome. I am Miss Moore White, here to talk about BSAP, our Black Student Achievement Plan. As a student of LAUSD, I can speak from my own experience and talk about how much BSAP in my day would have changed everything. Having culturally competent and relevant lessons designed around my personal experience, my community, my family, man, that would have made the biggest difference. And so at King Drew, we already have a rich history and a rich legacy of creating culturally relevant and competent lessons. So now it's time to show off what we've already been doing and then to also help some of our educators who might need a little bit more assistance in designing culturally competent lessons. We have on this video two amazing alumni that are here to share their experience about King Drew and how it's impacted them as black men and women. Let's check it out and enjoy. Hi, my name is Reverend Dr. Derek Harris, and there are so many things that I could say about King Drew, but I'll sum them up by saying King Drew taught me how to be a leader and taught me how to live a life of service. King Drew allowed me to find balance in being a smart kid from the hood and still show up authentic and be proud of who I am. As I look back on my high school experience, I can honestly say that I attribute much of my current success to the foundation that King Drew gave me to be a leader, be an innovator, ask questions, and never be afraid to show up in rooms where I might be the only person who looks like me. King Drew prepared me in ways that I feel that every black student, especially black male students, should have the opportunity to experience a learning environment that is committed to excellence while not sacrificing the culture of its community. Because of King Drew, I am a proud black man, black first generation college student, black doctor, black minister, black educator, black change agent. And like the golden eagles that we are, I continue to soar. Thank you so much, King Drew. Hi, thank you uh, so much for giving me the opportunity to speak to uh, the importance of King Drew's environment uh, to me when I was a student from 2001 to 2005. Uh, my name is Tulani Watkins and I was uh, extremely involved in many, many extracurricular activities all four years. And I think um, one thing about King Drew sitting where it's located in Los Angeles, having to wear the uniform is it provided the structure um, and obviously the partnership with Charles Drew um, slash the hospital to be able to focus on a particular program and explore, um, frankly, what oftentimes many minorities don't have the chance to get to explore um, so early on in life and being able to actually like learn from medical professionals. But I think also like if we were just to kind of take it back to the actual teachers that we had and the staff that was actually there on the campus in terms of looking like us, having our skin tones, being able to relate to, um, frankly, our culture needs and fits was very, very important. Uh, it's really, rare I think also that you can go to a high school and still to this day know the different um, folks that were there when you were there and, and have a really healthy relationship. Um, that's what I know a lot of King Drew alums particularly have to this day and I think that's again because of frankly like the environment um, and the exposure and the intentions that the teachers had there. While a lot of people I would say have done things differently because of like post George Floyd, I think one thing about a school like King Drew is like they're not you know new to any of this, they're just true to this and really being able to support um, the individuals and all of the classes, the foundation, um, uh, well, actually, I should say my foundation at King Drew has allowed me to continue to press on um, and have the confidence um, and pride that I have, frankly, when I show up in rooms. Um, it definitely allowed me to also go to the uh, private institution that I went to um, and to to know my voice, my, my work matters. Um, it's, it's just that vote of confidence. I, I, th I think the best way to say it is like, if there was a historically black high school, <laughs> that would be King Drew. Um, and so we know what HBCUs mean. 
uh, frankly, uh, to society these days, but uh, it's nice when you're able to get that before college. All right, Golden Eagles, thanks.